Hi, welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our uh, college football experts roundtable previewing week seven this week. And we are joined once again by uh, returning guests, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com and Doug Upson from impactwageringsolutions.com. Thanks again, guys, for being here. Thank hey, you, great man. to be here, Peter. Steve. Great picking last week. I just want to say, great picking. Great pick on, on Oregon last week. They were down at the half, though. They came out to get the big cover. Were you nervous about that game? Do you think you were wrong at halftime? Uh, I was a little nervous, but uh, I still felt like we had not seen the best of Oregon. Right. So uh, I knew that I've been doing this too long to know that the games are over by halftime. Yeah. I, I knew better. For sure. And you also gave us LSU and a bunch of other great advice. So uh, I just want to say thanks, guys. Let's start out with one of your games, Steve. Now, this game, it's, uh, it's USC at Cal. Cal has notoriously in recent times been a, a much better team at home than on the road. And last week, they did have a poor performance on the road, especially on defense. But now they're back at home. It's a Thursday night game, and they opened up as a four-point dog. And your first thought is, well, should they really be a home dog on Thursday night? And the line has, in fact, since moved down to, uh, to plus three. Uh, uh, you know, USC, they've, they've, been, they've got their offense playing great, but um, I'm not sure. What do you think about this line? Should they be a favorite here? Uh, we talked last week about Thursday night games on right. ESPN. They are now the home team has covered the spread 53 uh, times out of uh, 74. So that, that's just incredible, and it says a lot for Cal. However, this is a huge however. Mm -hmm. Cal definitely plays better at home with one major exception, and that is when they play USC. Mm. That's because for USC, this is what is known as the Cal Weekender. Right. USC right. schedules uh, the Bay Area teams alternately so that they could travel up north one time a year. This is the big road trip for USC. So it's Stanford one year, Cal the next year. This is the year that USC goes up to face Cal. And USC has a better record, both straight up and against the spread, when they are playing the Bay Area teams in the Bay Area. Uh, this is a game where I normally would say Cal looks great at home, except when they're playing USC. They're passing defense. This is Cal. They're ranked 74th in the country. And USC is bringing that high power, that high octane, fantastic combination between Matt Barkley, Marquise Lee, Robert Woods. The one caveat is Torin Harris, defensive back for USC, who is a game time decision. Now, if he is out, that spells trouble for USC in the secondary because they have their two starting DBs look like they're going to be both under 5'9". USC might try a junior college transfer who's never had a start at USC just to get some height in there, matching up against Cal's receivers who go 6'2 and 6'3". So here's my take on the game. If Torin Harris plays and is 100%, then I think it's going to be USC, you take USC, you take that side, you go with history. If Torn Harris does not play, then I think we're looking at a shootout, and I think the play is the over. And I was just informed that the total has just come out. Did you, you, you see where it came out? I saw it when it was, I believe, 55, 55 and a half. Right. I, I heard 54, 55. That seems like, when I first heard that, that seemed like kind of a low number to, uh, to me. Yeah, I was, I was just heard that as, I, as we were just setting up here. So I kind of want to wrap this call up pretty quickly so I can run out and bet it because uh, I'm, I'm thinking that number's got to be like 59 by game time. Doug Upstone, what's your take on this game? The, well, one of the things that Cal does not have is a true home field advantage because right. their stadium is being renovated. So they're actually playing at AT&T Park, the home of the Giants. So that's one big consideration. Another thing, too, that concerns me about California is Zach Maynard, their quarterback. Even though he's a noticeable, better uh, quarterback this season than last, his completion percentage is only 51.4%. That is really a big negative. And even though, as Steve mentioned, USC has some problems in the secondary, you still have to throw the ball accurately no matter what you do. Now, USC, you know, their offense is dynamic, as uh, Steve mentioned. But the defense for USC is a concern and has been all year. And they've been particularly poor in the second half of, the, of each game, being outscored six, excuse me, 86 to 68. Now, when USC is in a situation where they're – favored by less than 10 points against a team with revenge, and they're a road favorite, they're 9-2 and two against the spread. Overall, the visitor in this game is 11-4 and four against the number. It's a shorter number. I'll take USC minus the points. Hmm. 